Hey, how you doing? I'm uh, Rick Gearhart with the Battle Badgers um, at uh, Game Universe in Franklin, just a little west of Milwaukee. And we've got uh, an advanced copy of Hit the Beach here, so we're going to open it up, show you guys what it is. But uh... Right, so around that point I realized that um, the game store was not a good place to record this. There's uh, a lot of people having a good time playing games at the game store, and it uh, makes it kind of uh, difficult to really give you guys a... Uh, a solid look at what's going on in this box. So left the game store, came home to the Badger Bunker here, a little quieter, a little more intimate, a little closer to the scotch. We'll uh, take a look through everything here. So um, we've taken everything out of the box and uh, let's take a look. All right, so first off, we're gonna start with our, uh, our Shermans. Uh, we have a stack of eight cast hole M4 Shermans here. Let's see if I can give you a solid look at the sprue. So you've got that cast hole with the small hatches there. 75 millimeter turret, 75 millimeter cannon. Um, you know, that's a pretty familiar tank, right? And then uh, alongside those, we've got this new little 76 millimeter sprue. On here, we've got uh, another cast hole, but we've got those oblong hatches going on there. Um, the turret for the 76 and the cannon for the 76. So with that in mind, um, we have the option to build, uh, I suppose, eight 75s out of here, or five 75s and three 76s, or, or anything in between. And so at that point, uh, we'll finish up our allies by uh, taking a look at our paratroopers, and I suppose start off our Germans by looking at our grenadiers. Uh, and they are conveniently both located on these sprues. Uh, these guys here should look pretty familiar for um, all you uh, salty old vets. These are the same sprue from the old open fire set. Uh, lots of great models on here. I've got a couple of um, tank commanders on here as well. And one thing to keep in mind, uh, let's see if we can find the gentleman here. But the old open fire set um, was American paratroopers working alongside some British Shermans. So, let's see, where's the gentleman at? Right there. That's our British tank commander. So we won't be using him. Uh, instead, Battlefront has included nice little off-cut sprue here with some American tank commanders. So we can put those inside of our M4s. More of our Germans here. We have got three sprues of Panzer IVs. Um, we've got the uh, the couple of different uh, Scherzen or bazooka skirts, I suppose. Uh, so you can get that ragtag look or, or fresh look. You know, one of the things that I've always enjoyed with Panzer IVs and modeling them is uh, removing a couple of those. And uh, you'll see in a lot of historical photos that those are get banged up or, or, or different colors. Or and I think that's a great way to add character to a Panzer IV. All right, here we've got a pair of Pac-40s, uh, the seven and a half centimeter anti-tank gun for our Germans. Uh, these guys are going to go on those big bases over there, and the crew for them are going to be on that sprue right there that we looked at earlier. All right, so we looked at all of our models, right? That's all the miniatures that are in the box, and it's quite a pile of them. Um, so here we've got a nice big sheet of instructions, and they're actually going so far as to show you, you know, how you can put these guys on their stands. So it looks like we've got two platoons of Panzer Grenadiers with uh, eight stands there. Um, big difference for us from uh, V3 to V4. Note that our Panzer Shrek anti tank team is two guys on a small base as opposed to four on a large nowadays. Uh, and on the other reverse side, we can see our, our paratroopers. Our 75 millimeter Sherman and our 76 millimeter Sherman assembly instructions. Oh, and I lied. I'm sorry. There's another miniature we didn't talk about. There's the V1 flying bomb. This guy right here. Um, really neat little terrain piece. Uh, built and painted a couple of built and painted a couple of them with the uh, old open fire set. Um, fun for scenario play, that sort of stuff. It's 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 unique. It's different. All right, taking a look at the cards from our allied side here. We've got the list of formations here. There's a lot of differentiating going on between uh, being trained and veteran. We've got different versions of the same company for being vet. And you can see that there with our M4s at the top. Uh, the Stuarts just beneath them. Uh, same with the uh, armored rifles. 
and the assault companies there. We've got a parachute rifle company, glider rifle company, rifle company, uh, and a vet rifle company. And then we've got some rangers down there. And now, not all of that is obviously included in this box, right? This is just showing us uh, what all is going to be around for this D-Day Americans uh, set. So uh, support on the back side here. We've got uh, Cavalry Recon, as uh, so we've got some M8s as an option. We've got some tank destroyers, some towed tank destroyers, um, M7s. So we've got some Priests, some 155s, a uh, Sherman OP or an AOP, um, self-propelled AA guns, and uh, P47 Thunderbolts. Now, uh, it was interesting to take a look here at our, our Shermans. Uh, let's see here. Where's my vet Sherman? There we go. So there's my veteran Sherman next to my regular Sherman here. Uh, you'll see that the vets are careful. The uh, other folks are aggressive, so fours and threes. You'll notice that the veteran tank platoon is still rated trained. So they've they still got a, a skill check of four plus uh, as trained, but they have uh, Yankee ingenuity giving them a uh, bonus to their tactics checks, putting them at a three plus. All right, taking a look at the German side of the cards here. Um, on our D-Day German card in here for formations, we see a Beach Defense Infantry Company, a Fallschirmjäger Company, Stug Assault Guns, Panthers, Panzer Grenadiers, Armored Panzer Grenadiers, Panzer Fours, Tigers, and a Reconnaissance Company. Uh, neat with that Reconnaissance Company there. You take a look at that silhouette. That looks like the SDK of Z250 is going to be around, so that's neat. One of my favorites. Um, Support-wise here, I see Jagdpanzers, Pack 40s, 88s, 105s and Vesps, 105s and Hummels, uh, Nebelwerfers, Panzer 3 OP, Pumas, uh, Scout Troop mounted in 250s, um, some AA options, light and quad, and then a 2 centimeter light AA platoon and an 88 AA platoon. So you have uh, two options are for 88s, one is AA, one is Tank Hunter. Also, uh, on either side of these cards here for the uh, formation stuff, we've got these uh, nifty little movement order deals. Uh, those also show up over here. Got some neat art on the other side of them. So we've got our Panther tank there. Um, these are always a really nice resource to uh, make available to, to new players as they're learning or demoing the game. But here are our cards for the German side of things. Um, we did have a question on Facebook. Uh, I believe Dan Neal asked uh, whether or not there was a neat little way to, to store or carry these cards in the book. He'd heard something about a tin. Dan, I'm sorry, there is not a tin in here. However, if you're looking for a neat way to store your cards, um, Office Max has, uh, and so does just about a lot of the little hobby stores, um, has a... Uh, a slick little piece of plastic that uh, that they fit just about perfectly into. I will uh, I will try to find something a little more specific and shoot you a link. Uh, Dave Clifford also asked whether or not there were any five hole bases. Uh, there are no five hole bases. All of our medium bases are four hole. We've got uh, three two hole ones, so it's going to be our bazooka and our two panzer shrecks. Uh, some three hole ones for the our uh, formation HQs and platoon commanders. And then the two big ones for our pack 40s. And then we've got two sets of plugs and this lovely little uh, bag of ice. Also in the Hit the Beach set, we've got this uh, pocket size rule book. Complete rule book, just like you're used to for uh, for the starter sets, right? That's uh, We've seen those in uh, army boxes and that sort of stuff for a while now. And then we've also got this neat little Front and back, looks about eight pages of core rules. The idea being, hey, you can read this pretty quickly and have a pretty solid grasp on how this game is going to work and get started with it, right? Um, I've read it myself. Uh, it does a pretty good job. The uh, only thing that I would point out to any new folks who are picking it up, um, it does negate, I'm sorry, it does neglect to mention that infantry can be concealed whilst uh, sitting in the open, uh, so long as they didn't move. So that is that is mentioned right there in that rule book. So this will get you going just fine, and then uh, the rest of the details are right there. Anyhow, um, so I've got uh, I've got three sets of hit the beach here. One of them we're going to be painting up to, to demo with. Um, we will be at a convention called uh, Tabletop Minions Expo in Oshkosh, Wisconsin on the um, 
well, next weekend, I suppose. Um, we'll be raffling off a copy of Hit the Beach there. We will have our Easy Green Beach Board out. Um, we'll be playing scenarios with uh, anybody who wants to stop by and play with us at the convention. Uh, and then the, uh, the following week, on the 15th, we will be at Game Universe Franklin. And um, there we will have um, Easy Green Beach and possibly our Point to Hawk scenario as well. Um, no experience necessary, guys. You don't need models. You don't need to know what you're doing. Just show up. We'll uh, we'll walk you through it. We'll also be running demos with the Hit the Beach stuff and raffling off uh, a copy there as well. All right. A uh, couple of final thoughts, I suppose. Um, first, talk about the value of the box here. Um, plastic tanks, you just took a quick look online. Uh, most of those sprues, uh, $9 a piece, right? So um, $45 for a set of five of them. But... Um, we've got 11 tanks in here um, at nine bucks each, so call that $99. This is pretty fast loose stuff here. Um, the uh, infantry sprues uh, we normally see for nine bucks a peach as well uh, online for the the Panther Grenadier platoon sprue that sort of stuff. There's a lot more going on in these sprues, I do believe. There's a couple more models involved, um, but those are normally nine bucks each. Uh, we've got the uh, the two platoons and the HQ, um, and then the uh, the parachute rifles. So call that. Uh, let's see. Call that. I can't. I can't. I can't count or add all of a sudden. Uh, one, two, three, four by nine. So call that another thirty-six bucks, right? So we're sitting at about one hundred and thirty-five dollars. Um, the pack forties um, sprues on the online store, six bucks a piece. So call that another twelve dollars. So we're kicking around one hundred and forty-seven dollars just in models. Um, cards normally come with those models, so let's go ahead and ignore those. The V1 Flying Bomb isn't really something that you can buy anywhere else. Maybe you can find it online um, from somebody who's, who's had one in the past. Don't really know how to value that, but uh, you've got the uh, the book and the dice as well. Um, and I've got to tell you, one of the things that I feel Battlefront has done really well with this as far as a starter set goes is the price point. Uh, if you're not aware, the Hit the Beach set is $50. Uh, $50 for all of that. Like I said, that's about $147 um, price just in models. That's that's not the rule book. That's that's none of the other stuff that you're getting in here. So it's a, it's a pretty fantastic deal. Now, one of the things that always bothers me, I suppose, when it comes to box sets for miniature games, um, when there's all of that value packed into it, sometimes they can be really hard to get a hold of. Um, if you're familiar with, you know, any of the, the box sets that happen for games from, say, Games Workshop, and with some of those, if, if you're not there to get them right away or if you haven't pre-ordered it, you're, you're not going to get one. Um, I think that we're kind of lucky here with the historical side of things because um, I would bet that most of you uh, salty old veterans have got quite a collection of M4s and Panzer 4s as it is. Um, so there's a part of me that says, you know, hey, maybe, maybe this box isn't aimed at you. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a starter box, right? But I, I actually, I was thinking to myself, that might not be the case. This, this is for us. This is for us... Uh, you know, old hands, it, this is a tool for us, and this is a tool for us to use to bring new people into this hobby. Um, and I think Battlefront is, uh, is is giving us just about everything that we need to make that happen here. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, we can make it happen. Thank you very much. I uh, hope it was worth your time. Hope I answered any questions that you had. If you have any others, um, feel free to just uh, shoot me a message or throw them in comments uh, on a Facebook post or, or message Battle Badgers. Uh, find the Battle Badgers Facebook page, shoot us a like, get a hold of us that way, um, and uh, we'll do what we can. Thanks.